my name is Miranda and today I am here to discuss episode 9 of A Court of Fae and Flowers which is also the second to last episode but really the part one of the two-part finale which makes sense because when I saw the episode I was wondering why it was on the shorter side considering the last like few episodes have been well over the two hour mark that I was like, wait, why is this one shorter? But now it makes sense that it's a part one of a two part finale. So since we are getting close to the finale, things are happening plot wise, romance wise, green hunter wise, it's all just coming out and coming together beautifully. And I'm so, so excited, but also like really scared <laughs> for what the finale is going to be because it's one of those things where it feels like you've got so much to wrap up that I just don't know how it's all going to wrap up. And believe me, I have faith that it's all going to wrap up great because I really feel like Abria, the story she has woven with this season has been probably my favorite season she's ever campaigned, if I'm being honest. Like I just think it's so different from normal D&D stuff and all the players are just so into it. And it just like, I don't know, like there's obviously like super dramatic moments and like things that make you gasp in any D&D session, right? Like that's just standard protocol for it. But I don't think there's been quite so many emotions as I have felt in in this campaign as any other campaign I can remember watching like just in terms of like the gasping the crying the happiness the quotes that I've loved like oh my gosh it's amazing to see it all play out and I am so so excited to see how it's gonna wrap up especially considering how this episode ended with Binks getting attacked I'm assuming by Apollo because obviously like she's the last of the court of crafts so maybe there's a reason that they need to be gone like to finally get all that magic everyone from the court of craft has to be gone or they could just want Binks out of the way because they know about everything that's going on so like obviously they wouldn't let this happen again if they were still around but I just feel like yeah Apollo going off on his own and then Binks being attacked has to be connected even though like the way that Binks was attacked was not through things that I believe we know Apollo to be because he seemed like more of a a ranger using his bow but then he could also cast spells I just don't remember which spells it was he could cast so yeah I definitely feel like they're coming after Binks and thankfully Anhera is there but I also worry and especially from like the preview we saw maybe Anhera will pretend to flip sides to save Binks or something like that because it seems like he seemingly agrees to team up with his sister or at least have a talk with his sister so that'll be really interesting because we haven't gotten a love confession from Anhera and Binks yet we got a really cute sweet moment of them on the beach where Anhera pledged his loyalty to her court as well which I thought was so sweet when he was like I'm not giving up my court but like who says like I can't join more than one and I'm like that is so true like all this talk about like dismantling courts and stuff like that it's like why can't you just be part of more than one court if you want to? Like, it's kind of that thing where it's like, why should you feel one allegiance to something when, like, people are multifaceted and, like, can obviously, like, he could like the court of darkness and then the court of, you know, craft and making all that stuff. So I think, like, it made so much sense. And I was like, wow, that's really, like, pillar boy, you've come so far. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out because, yeah, just ending it with Binks getting poisoned and then almost grappled and then Vine still going after her has me very, very worried. And especially, I, it's probably not related, but like if you saw the background for the next episode, like all this stuff is like pouring rain and stuff, which uh, rain is usually like unassociated with like rituals and spells and stuff like that. So obviously if they're doing a big ritual for this, it makes sense. But it also just made me think of how in Hera, his emotions are tied to the crystal in his back. And even I think it's very monumentous and important that all this stuff happened with Binks after she had offered to take the crystal out of in Hera. So I just feel like maybe like that's a way that they track him or something like that instead like I'm interested to see more of what that comes out but yeah I also just want to see a confession a love confession between them because I think they're so cute and so adorable and like they just understand each other so well and they're so like even when they were like we gotta go like I gotta take care of that thing and then Hera's like yeah and I gotta help you make sure that you take care of that thing right like I have to supervise you like it was just so so cute so I really am excited to see how that's gonna go and I also just want to see Binks go feral right okay like she was the one that talked about murdering Apollo which yes queen she was the one that like has lost her whole court and has like you know all these tricks up her sleeve where like just go after him like bring their bodies back right like I'm so excited to see how that's gonna happen and then speaking of love connections we got so much stuff with Rue and Hob this episode my god like there were just so many moments especially during like the whole like love declaration thing where I was like like my jaw was just open like I was like like eternally gasping you know what I mean like forever just like it, it was so amazing and like 
it's so hard because like I had to keep reminding myself that like in my mind and Brennan played it so perfectly well like I give him so much credit Hob never got the letter so in Hob's mind Rue was just like doing a kindness like making sure that everyone was having fun like the master of ceremonies should by inviting Rue to dance with them and having a fun night with them and like that just breaks my heart but like they never got the letter so I was waiting for that to come out of like you know Rue's obviously gonna be pissed that like you never responded to this letter or said anything so like Rue's gonna call it out about something and I was just waiting and waiting like even when Hob was injured and started running towards them I kept waiting for Rue to be like what's wrong like get all like panicked and I think the way Oscar played it was so so smart because it was like Rue kind of stayed back but then when they did interact they were angry they were like you've been shot like how are you acting like this is so blase and like they were the one that was like oh are you hurt Hob was like oh like Apollo wasn't as good like trying to make a joke out of it and Rue's like no but you're hurt like you're actively bleeding and like that's just the great thing about their relationship is that like I feel like Hob gives and gives and gives and Rue is the one reminding them that like you know you need to take a little right and you need to think of yourself every once in a while and not just try and downplay it or make it seem better for someone else's sake and I just think that's going to be really cute. I also have to give it up to Hob. I mean I shouldn't have doubted Brennan at all right but it was just the power of Abria because I know she can do it if she really wanted to but it was such a smart decision for Hob to just run. Like first of all it was so funny for like Apollo to be like I challenge you blah 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 and then Hob to be like, good day, and just take off for the woods. Like, I loved the image of that, and like this bugbear, like running, like scampering as fast as they can. But it also made perfect sense for the character because what we had been told is Apollo's challenging him outside of the rules of a duel, away from anyone, so there's no kind of rules that apply there. And then the two things that could happen are either Hob dies and gets killed by Apollo, or Hob wins and kills Apollo and is then found with the body of the prince and. How do you explain that? Because it's his word against, you know, dead Apollo. So there really was no way for him to win that situation. So I just thought that was such a smart tactical move. And in a, in the moment, it seemed like, oh, like, I'm just running because, like, I can run. But then to figure out the layers behind it of, like, oh, no, Hob realized, like, even if I win this, like, I'm gonna lose because I'll have to explain why I killed Prince Apollo. So I just thought that was really smart and, like, really showed his character and how smart Hob is even though like he's a soldier like he's a strategist and I feel like I liked the reminder of that. The other thing we got confirmation was that was that Rue was the one that called off the marriage between Grabalda, Grabalba, blah, 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 whatever her name is and Apollo and it makes sense honestly when Rue explains it. Rue explains that like these things are made for power and for political alliance and people are forced to marry people that they don't love. Rue isn't interested in the politics. They've made that very clear. They want to dismantle the idea of courts they're not even against that and I feel like it made sense for the character where it's to the point where like it didn't feel like a big betrayal on my hand I could get where it comes from on Hobbs especially when he started going off about how like now he sees Rue's affections as something that Rue was using on behalf of the Court of Wonder to kind of distract Hob and bamboozle him and make him feel a fool and then you could see where uh, Rue was getting hurt and like you can't blame them because it's like again in their eyes like they told Hob that they loved him and Hob didn't respond. So it's like, yeah, you could see where Rue's getting angry of like, I love you. Like, how could you say these things to me that like I'm using you or like it's all just for the court for me when like you know what my true intentions are. And I really cannot wait for that confrontation when we find out that he never got the letter and also that Wavi ripped it and did not deliver it. Like I just, both the confrontation when like Rue realizes that that means Wubby didn't deliver it and then also the confrontation with Wubby afterwards is gonna be so painful and like you know I love Wubby but when they did the perception check to see that Wubby was like listening in on this conversation I was ready to throw hooves I was like Wubby you need to stay out like you've done enough damage and it's just I don't know like I don't know Hob they didn't really have a moment to call it out but like I really wish they'd let that scene continue on for a little bit longer I get why she was like all right we gotta switch to this scene but like it was just so good I could have watched two hours of them talking and confronting to each other the way Brennan talks and like lately I've noticed it a lot too but like he uses the best vocabulary ever that makes it really feel like you're watching like a period drama or something like that and it's just amazing to see I also really really love Binks you know kind of confronting Rue and being like you know I know something that like would be very interested for you to hear and like I'm loyal to you so I didn't tell them but like trying to say that Hob does care for them and loves them and Rue being like no it's not true like don't like I love the fact that Rue and 
Binks are such good friends, right? But then Binks was like actually genuinely getting upset when Rue was insinuating that like she's only saying this to make them happier, like to comfort them. And she's like, what stake in this do I have besides my friend's happiness? Like, why would I lie about that? And I think that just shows again the difference between like the court of craft that she's grown up in and the court of wonder that Rue has grown up in and all the other courts kind of really too about how she's like that's what the court of craft has always been is they tell it how it is they do it how it is like there's no subterfuge or really titles or anything in there it's like they just are who they are so I liked her getting upset and like you could see where Rue is coming from because that was probably everyone else in Rue's life might lie or something like that to comfort them or to get them on their side but like I liked that like even though they're friends like she genuinely got upset and was like why would I lie about this? Like, you need to stop. And I would just, like, I thought that was a nice moment to be, like, you know, like, even if you're best friends, like, you can still disagree on things and they're still, obviously, they've come from two very different worlds. So, it's just so exciting. Like, all the stuff, I mean, the Green Hunter, I love how much that has taken off. Like, it was just, like, a one-off and now it's, like, literally become an integral part of the end plot. I love that so much. And I just, I laughed, I gasped, like the love confession scene between Rue and Hob, like I said, I'm just being like, I love you. I love you vehemently. I love you like I've loved no one or nothing ever before in my life. And like Hob just like stone face silent. Like I was like, oh, I can't wait to see how this plays out. Like I really, really cannot. And I also love that they had this plan of like, all right, we're all gonna go to the theater and we're going to keep eyes on Apollo and Suntar and like figure out what their plan is. They all immediately split off from the theater. <laughs> Chirp is the only one still in there and Apollo is also gone. Like I thought like it would have been super easy for Squawk to follow Apollo and then like if Apollo catches them being like oh I just thought like when you said like you were leaving them and like we were leaving you know like we're gonna go hook up somewhere. So I'm a little worried about that that like they're all separate because I just feel like I tried to combine the word separate and separated and it did not work but I am concerned about that because I feel like especially like at least they're connected by the the bluebird, right? But I feel like and Hera's gonna have to go get everyone to try and save Binks and then Hob and Ru are also having this very emotional moment that Wubby's there and like who knows if Hob is gonna call out the fact that Wubby's there, if Wubby's gonna step up. Like I just there's so many ways this could go. So yeah, please, please feel free to leave your final theories and predictions for everything down below with what's gonna happen with Apollo, Wubby the mayor, the bet, the whole thing with the cousins, everything, Hob and Rue and Hera, Banks, like, there's so much to happen and there's so much that I have theories for, but like, it can't all happen. So I'm so interested to see what you guys think of the last episode and what you think is going to happen in the final episode. I'm super, super excited to see it and just see the conclusion of what potentially could be the last bloom for many reasons and see if that does happen and what the reason is. So yeah, if you have seen this episode, leave your theories, your thoughts, your reactions to it down below in the comments. Also make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!